like to give recognition to uh, uh, teams that are doing great. And there's a team in hockey right now nobody can touch. From Barrie, Ontario, the Barrie Colts in Junior B Hockey. Uh, at the start of the season, Gus Badali and I went up to watch them play. The very first game, I think they won 7-3. I went to their coach and I said, you might never lose a game all year. You know what their record is now? 26-0-2. Now that's pretty good. I understand you went in the room even to see the players. Oh, I, don't, you know I went in I the room. I'm surprised you didn't wreck things, but uh, congratulations to the Barry Colts. It just goes to show you can win if you got the horses. Tony King, I went oh. to see Tony and his family yesterday at Princess thought. Margaret in Toronto. The big fella's doing really well. Uh, he had the surgery on Monday, a bone marrow transplant. Corrine's already out of hospital. Good. Great. And uh, poor Tony's got to stay in hospital for at least uh, three weeks, and uh, all he can do is watch you in the hockey game, so. Uh, Way to go, Tony Boy. Keep plugging in there. Keep guys, it's going to be good in the playoffs this year. Thanks, Don. You won't want to miss inside hockey today. It's a special tribute to Chris King of the New York Rangers and the inspiration of his life. His brother, Tony, will feature the Kings in our second intermission tonight. Chris's Rangers were in action moments ago against the New York. Special hi to Patty and Tony King and Mr. King. Make sure you got the VCR rolling. It's coming up very soon. We want to tell you about New Year's Eve on Hockey Night in Canada. A special double header will feature the New York Rangers tied for first in the Patrick and Second overall, we'll play at Winnipeg as we launch a twin bill Tuesday. That's at 5.30 Eastern. Then we'll follow that with the Montreal Canadiens and the Calgary Flames at the Olympic Saddle Dome. That's New Year's Eve, the race for first overall December 31st. Up next, it's Tony King and Chris King and the spirit of hockey players in their real world. Live, this is Molson Hockey Night in Canada on CBC. Chris King is a popular New York Ranger, coveted for his immense courage. He's known the roar of the NHL crowd, felt the exhilaration of a thunderous body check, and scored goals in this game which provides such a bountiful livelihood. Great effort by Chris King. But this holiday season, his smile is guarded. His hopes only partially linked to the outcomes of games. Meet Chris's number one fan and influence his older brother, Tony. 27 years old, a husband to Patty. Tony is spending his Yuletide at Princess Margaret Hospital in Toronto. He really got run down around February and and they put him in the hospital for some tests and they really couldn't pinpoint what his, what his problem was. And uh, later in the summer, they, they started to think that maybe it, it was uh, cancer related. His white blood count was very high, which tends to have, uh, or tends to show that you do have a problem with cancer. And it wasn't until uh, late August that they actually uh, diagnosed him with leukemia. A gift of hope from modern medicine. Bone marrow from Tony's 20 year old sister, Corrine, may produce a cure. She'll have a sore bum after the transplant, but other than that, she's uh, pretty excited about it. It's not often that you get to give a Christmas present, like the chance for, you know, a new chance at life. So that's the way she's looking at it anyway. And I think I have to pay her, but uh, other than that. <laughs> On December 16th, doctors removed 150 vials of bone marrow from Corrine, pumped them directly into Tony's heart, where they then burst into his bloodstream, carrying the potential for a new life. I'll be in isolation for about, uh, well, I guess tw around 28 days, I figure. But uh, it depends. I hope to break some records on getting out of here, actually. So far, so good, according to doctors. Tony must remain in isolation one month as the marrow is given a chance at acceptance and growth. He's passing time watching Rangers tapes, which arrive after each game. For a guy that's always on the go, to be in a hospital room for two and three weeks at a time is really tough for him to accept. But. Uh, his attitude's excellent right now. Uh, he was very excited about uh, Hockey Night in Canada, talking about him, and you know, he's watched it since he was a kid, and, and uh, he was real excited about meeting Grapes and, uh, and Ron McLean, and you know, everybody's, the hockey community's just come together and, and helped him out in a real tough time, and he's looking forward to uh, getting this all done and, and uh, being able to come and watch some more hockey games. Tony, it's uh, your buddy Daryl Sittler here, and uh, I know we've been friends for years. We had our fishing trips together and some good times, and I know you're going through a difficult period in your life, and 
you know, with the medicine and the doctors we have to have today, just keep the faith. Uh, a good friend of mine, Glenn Cochran, who I played with in Philadelphia, gave his sister a bone marrow transplant quite a few years ago, and to this day, she's perfectly healthy. She's had a baby, and uh, it's turned out well. So keep the faith, be strong, and uh, good luck to you. I come from a close family, and I know how close the King family is, and boy, I, I don't know what I would do if this ever happened to my brother, but uh, Chris is really doing, you know, he's hanging tough, and Chris is the same old guy, and, you know, he thinks about Tony every day, and uh, we all do, and uh, we're praying for him, and we wish him all the best. Tough guy like you is always yeah. super squeamish yeah, when we like, come to uh, do never these mind, things. Never uh, mind, any, any guy that's a friend of Ty Dome, he's a friend of mine. Ready to go, Tommy? <laughs> right there. Thanks for yeah, all right, Rock'em Sock, we got some hot there. That'll Put it on. Excellent. I like that. I, the, never mind that hat, it's got blue on it. <laughs> and this is for Corina. That's a great picture of me yelling. Oh, oh yeah. Good. Yeah, good like yeah. I'm glad you guys could come down so you didn't have to wear the mask. <laughs> nice but this is the best one of all, Bobby Orr. Uh, the greatest guy in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Heard about you, Perry Sound Boy. He sent this here for you. Oh, terrific. Yeah, you know, see, when it gets a little cold in here, it's not as quite as good. Oh. Anyhow, number four, wow, Bobby yeah. Ola, sent Thank that you to you, and you'll, you'll, you. you'll be 100%. Yeah. You better, believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it. We'll be back playing softball for Molson's up in the park there next summer. With God's blessing and the same grit which carried his brother to the NHL, Tony's fighting back. King, the puck to King, he moves in, he shoots, he scores! Chris King with his second goal of the season, and boy, the King family is jumping That's right now. Say, that'll make the brother feel a little bit better. So whenever you watch the Rangers play, and for December's to come, remember, the jolliest man at Christmas won't be Chris Kringle, it'll be Chris King.